do more plates equal more dates? He's one of the biggest lifting YouTubers and his name is an even bigger claim. It's a pretty common meme that the only people who care about how much lift are guys. But what does science say about it? Science shows that So guys, Derek, moreplatesmoredates.com. Today, we are going to be reacting to Does More Plates Equal More Dates by Matt Venna. Um, so this is a YouTube short, but yeah, it's about me. It's, you know, it looks like it might be funny, so let's fucking check it out. Do more plates equal more dates? He's one of the biggest lifting YouTubers, and his name is an even bigger claim. It's a pretty common meme that the only people who care about how much lift are guys. Expectation. Man plus bench pressing equals being surrounded by women. Reality. Man plus bench pressing equals nice pecs, bro. How much you bench? I, I used to lift. But what does science say about it? What, the, what is this? Is he like reacting to his own TikTok or something? It's like Matt Venna. Matt Venna. What the fuck? Science shows that stronger men are generally seen as more attractive. This study even suggests it's most of their attractiveness. Um, okay, it's funny because I post on TikTok. You think I would know the answer to this? I have no idea why there's two fucking symbols like jumping around here. Um, scientific data to reinforce that upper body strength accounts for most of the variance in men's bodily attractiveness. Interesting. However, these studies were based on how strong somebody looked, their muscle mass, not how strong they actually were, aka more plates. What if you're like me, you can lift a decent amount of plates, but you look like you've never lifted before? Anecdotally, I would say it's true, and here's a story from my most- Yeah, look at this chick's fucking face. Jaw drop, buddy. A recent relationship to back it up. She's- Man, these people are fucking awestruck. More plates, buddy. Said she swiped right on me, not because of how I looked or my profile, but because she'd seen me lift on Instagram before. <laughs> There's like a fucking chick taking a video of him. My final verdict, more plates, more dates. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so that was actually an unexpected <laughs> conclusion. Um, yeah, like obviously it's... Uh, well, let's see what the comment section says before I get into it. See, the simple phrase, more plates, more dates, entirely changed my life for the better. I had for a long time been the embodiment of a beta male. However, one day that all changed, the day I finally claimed the title of a 315 deadlift. Instantly, women were lined up along the street for miles upon miles, begging me for favors which shall not be named in this comment. I had finally achieved a tenth of the Death Star dealt God's power, and damn did it feel great. At four plates, I expect to transcend the entirety of mankind and reach a number of dates previously unknown to... Humanity, Godspeed, my brethren, and best of luck on your journeys. Now, if we... Everyone knows this fucking guy. Now, if only we could all get our delts to be half the size of Derek's. Bigger delts till your date melts. Boom. It's a fucking t-shirt. More personality equals more... More personality equals more second dates. So what exactly is the efficacious dose of plates to elicit super physiological amounts of dates? You misread this one. Well, yes, I agree women will tend towards stronger guys. That's not the whole picture here. She said she saw you lifting on Instagram. That means she was attracted to the clout. Your status is a strong guy. Rather than you just being able to move heavy things. If there's one thing women have a hard time consciously realizing that they find attractive, it's status because it can come in many forms. You just need to be towards the top to benefit. Also, being strong helps. <laughs> By Abraham Lincoln. Is that not reading into it a bit much, bro? Like, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this is a fucking joke of a video, basically. The clout and status arose due to the fact that he could move very heavy things. Chicken or the egg. This is the yolk of our ex existence. You sound clownish. If he had the same views cooking, she would have said the same thing. But can't she survive that ungodly amount of hip thrust power? Been working around, out for around four years, and my personal experience is that people approach me much more often than before in all kinds of scenarios. Even for small things, like just saying hello. More plays equals more weight, which... More weight equals more dishes, <laughs> and more dishes equals more vicious. So therefore, more dishes equals more weight, which equals less dates. Can't argue with that one. Fuck. Where's that guy? Exactly, bro. I didn't understand anything. What the fuck is a bitch? <laughs> bitch is what? Bitch when you fish. You understand what I mean? And that was a good opportunity for him to fucking jump in. Someone says something. Isn't that fucking funny how just like my alter ego, like fat 
giga bulk Derek fucking roams around just like comments on shit. Uh, just walking around with his 160 over 120 blood pressure, getting perma nosebleeds every day, fucking pe- wheezing and panting, doing fucking anything, can't breathe, borderline hypertensive crisis, 24 7, perpetually 365, sleep apnea city, fucking classic. Someone says something, Matt, but what does science say about it? I'm sure you don't look like I do you even lift, bro. Don't be so hard on yourself. You might not look as strong as you are, but I'm sure you have a decent amount of visible muscle. Yes, you may get more initial curiosity type dates, but how many are going to get past first base? Also, while fishing, you may catch a hundred bunkers while looking for one fluke. <laughs> Dude, more dishes equal more bitches. Come on. Nope, not in there. This is so true. Years ago when I was still in the dating scene, now happily married, I dated a girl during a time that I could bench 225 for five sets of five, 275 squat for five sets of five, and a 300 deadlift for five sets of five. All with top-notch form also. I know to the internet these numbers are crap anymore, but 10 years ago at a local gym, people were wowed by those numbers, especially for how I looked. I was a lanky 180 at 6'2". My GF at the time looked at this attractive, meaty fellow when we were out and turned to me and said, you know, you could be bigger. <laughs> I broke up with her a few days later. Point being, they recognized the look, but not that strength. Now we need Derek to make a response video to this. Here you fucking go, bro. The most bomb breakdown ever. We should have a sequel. He should make his first fucking video. That's what he should do. I've been training for years and years, and I've had women tell me it's intimidating, but others find it very attractive. It just depends, I guess. Um, yeah, so I think... Um, the fuck massive gym cell cope you're still getting mugged by the pretty boy with a good jaw on your squats squats 225 <laughs> fuck dude so anyway he does more plates equal more dates you know like obviously it's a fucking play on words <laughs> it's just meant to be funny and memorable but um yeah like i guess uh it kind of depends you know like are you using fucking hella drugs to equate to the more plates and thus hindering your health and, you know, making you look like a roid monkey? I don't know. In that case, does it equal more dates? You know, probably not. In the case of, you know, a pure natural, are you the stronger you get, the better outcome you're probably going to get in terms of your, you know, aesthetic appeal or just, you know, how good you look in general? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't fucking doubt that the more muscle and strength you have in general, you know, the better off you are, to be honest. Within reason, of course, because that's, well, I guess you could argue against that entirely just by the fact that at your peak of everything, you'd probably be maybe be carrying more excess um, fluid and weight than you would otherwise, you know, look best at, you know, 10% ish. Maybe you're not going to be at peak performance at 10%, whereas you could otherwise get fluffier and, you know, get some more fucking plates. And then maybe you're not going to pull as many, you know, hot bitches, bro. So I don't know for sure, but it's certainly an interesting question to actually dismantle in a full video. And I'm surprised that uh, this guy actually found studies to fucking dig into it. So that's uh, funny. I thought this was hilarious, by the way. Check out uh, Matt Venna. This is uh, my first time seeing his shit, but it uh, seems like good stuff. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplatesmoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram at moreplatesmoredates, Facebook. Snapchat, not bitch dude, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm actually back on there though. Thank fuck. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, etc. It is all down there to check out in my video description as well as any way to support me, the companies I'm associated with or own or I'm affiliated with or whatever. Uh, my TRT clinic, all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home, get high quality oversight from doctors who understand how to interpret biomarkers and high quality diagnostics and what to even order you in the first place to make a educated conclusion about your current health status and what would be worth pursuing as far as uh, interventions, both both pharmaceutical and or lifestyle, um, dietary, whatever it is, even genetic analysis. We basically do fucking everything at our clinic. So um, check it out. It's turnkey for naturals or guys who are on HRT or guys who are, you know, blasting their fucking faces off and want a non-judgmental doctor who will oversee their blood work and, uh, you know, make recommendations as far as risk mitigation. So check that out if you are interested as well as Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas. I designed myself from scratch. Um, and anything else I'm associated with, it is all down in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.